Welcome back, friends, to the final day of our last spell run. We can see the mist has been pushed back. Enemies are coming from all directions. At the end of our last episode, we cleared out the one actual pile of corpses that had an item. Other than that, though, it's just regular old corpses. So we may, if we have some workers left over, harvest those for some gold. But ultimately, we're not going to do too much, no, no more long-term investment. We're going to spend every penny we have trying to buy items for our remaining heroes. We're not going to try to get a sixth hero. I mean, it costs 200 plus. You have to actually hire the dude. I think we'll be better served just buying very high-level items for our five people. And that should be sufficient. We'll level up Clara here. Uh, Clara. Well, we do have uh, crit stuff here for her to begin with already. So, a buff of 9% crit chance is probably not a bad choice for her. <laughs> well, crit power is good too. What do we have? I had to look ahead, so I hadn't actually written out my proposed path for her. I'm not really a huge fan of any of these particular skills. I think we'll just go with Critical Runes. Uh, she's going to burn through her mana, and as she does so, she'll just keep boosting that crit chance. So I don't think that's a bad choice for her. Which means, if you come over to here, I don't have to worry about mana regeneration anymore it's either damage or i mean <laughs> we're gonna, we should be doing quite a bit of crits and a what is that 30 percent boost to crit damage is probably worth it looks good she does have the bonus to multi hits as well so uh, that's another reason why this perk of quantity versus quality trying to mess with propagation bounces and stuff doesn't matter because we're focusing more on uh, multi-hits. Sorry to call you a moron. Moron. <laughs> All right. Um, we need to, we certainly need to have the restore mana kick off. And then, let's see. You're a little low. You actually are a little low. You could have, what, six more? You, 41 total. So you're down by... 12. Let's take a look at what this does. This is 12. That's perfect. And this one is probably 6, which I think is perfect for you. And really, how low are you? I mean, you don't usually use that much mana to begin with. You got 32. You're probably okay. Now we could, well, more important that we should do these, I think. Get all the money. And we can... Let's give... Yeah, let's give a bonus to you. And let's give a bonus to... To you? How much did it say? You've got 46 max, you've got 54 max, and you've got 34. Um, what do you have? 44. I mean, I guess we could give you another one and you could just keep blasting away with it. There, at least now you're the same as your peers. 47, 46, 54. They're all in the same category. Might as well take a look at this too. See what's in the or oraculum. I've spared you the annoying loading screen. We have a new omen. Okay, so I had been unlocking most of those on the other side. Tainted essence gains. Okay, so you can unlock things more quickly. That takes two pips though, so that's kind of a big one. This one's huge. <laughs> Just better traits overall. 
obviously that's going to make your runs better. All right, so let's come to the shop since obviously that's where we're going to be spending most of our time. What do we have for trinkets? A huge boost to crit power. A... I don't care about armor. I don't care about mana generation being dropped. Propagation bounce and reliability. So actually, these are... Well, these are kind of good. The propagation bounce isn't that great because the character... The character that has the bonus to propagation bounces is the one that doesn't have the boost to crit. That would probably be Edwidge. But. Alright, so she has a bonus to propagation bounces based off of her gear. So if I give her book and her wand to somebody else. Uh, they would get those bonuses. Now, I believe... Let's take a look. So, theoretically, we could give it to somebody else. And... Because I don't want to give her the item that gives a bonus to propagation bounces, if it also gives a bonus to crit damage when she's not doing any crits. But I do have two other wizards that are specced for crit, right? But... You have a bonus for initiator. Clara does not. Why does Clara have multi-hits? Okay, so she just rolled up a plus one on multi-hits naturally. So we certainly want her to have a wand, but she could potentially also have those books or something. Although that's only a level one Tome of Secrets, and it's a base level one, so we may just want to scrap the whole idea. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it. I'm getting too focused on those little perks and abilities when the raw damage output's the problem. So let's come back and see what the stores got. Oh, the other thing is, a level three crossbow could be pretty nice. I like crossbows quite a bit. I believe. She's got a silver longbow plus one. You can see right away the base damage is significantly different between the two. The other weapon is a rifle three. So uh, this might not be a bad one to give to my ranged dude. There's nothing else here really. In fact, we can sell these. And... I mean, the pistol's also not a bad option. This gives a bonus to critical chance, bonus to critical power. This ignores block, as you can see. Does some shorter range stuff. This has linear attacks and some cross-shaped blasts. I think, ultimately, this is probably the better one. Death Orb plus four. Mediocre special abilities, but... A huge boost to damage, which is always appreciated. If we compare that to that magic orb, significantly more damage. And we were using the death ray quite a bit, so let's take a look at that. The novice's orb, 230 to 287 versus 171 to 213. So the minimum on this new orb is still significantly higher. Hey, what? seven or eight percent more than the max for the base orb uh yeah i think i'll take that and i'm going to take this too i could take the axe plus four i don't think i will vivian she's got two level two weapons those are probably going to be good enough we need to focus more on our magic users i think now we can take a look at some of these too Sometimes the bonuses the armor give you are pretty significant. That does not appear to be the case here. Don't need shields. I don't even really need health potions, I don't think. It's, it's kind of risky, but we're playing on not getting hit. This fireball scroll might not be a bad one. That's the one we sold to them. 
uh, for 46 to get a free couple of uh, that's five uses per night and some of our wizards have the overloaded so they can use it six times they may not have the mana for it but it's good to have a powerful spell like that to knock out some people without taking action points so we'll go with that we'll re-roll okay another pimped out death orb a pimped out wand does not give a bonus to the number of magic missile multi shots but it's just a plus four so that's always nice teleportation scroll don't care don't care about these don't really care about the offhand axe for vivian eh the pants aren't great none of the armor is great the uh The magic orb is an interesting one just because you know the other web the other spells they have or items they have do good area effect damage this as you can see gives a bonus to isolation damage and that is handy for picking off those individuals that are floating around i really i really like that ability and the linear attack from a death ray is not bad either uh i got another wand here what wands do they have edwidge does not get a bonus to the number she's got she doesn't have any bonuses for crit multi hits or bounces clara has bonuses she's got a base level magic orb and the offhand magic orb or magic wand with just magic missile. And then Torg has a wand plus two and a short bow. So I think we're okay with taking both of these. This trinket plus one skill range for 50. You know, we need trinkets. We've got the slots and they give us some extra bonuses if you take them. And plus one skill range is never a bad thing. Let's re-roll again. And <laughs> I've already got a rifle plus three. And this one, the uh, extra abilities are not that useful. Only one magic weapon. That's a shame. Sword. So this sword slash plus four is actually kind of important. My uh, Vivian, she has two sword scrolls, but they're none of them are the higher level ones are like level one and base level this is plus four a mana potion is good and potentially one more so if each magic user has a area effect blast spell of some sort and then a orb for picking off individuals or doing the powerful linear attack this might not be bad 50 111 a hundred and fifty seven will be four short but if we're going to be selling some stuff back as i suspect we will we should be able to afford it so i'm going to pause it i'm going to run through all that and then i'll show you what the end results look like all right i've got five bucks left to my name so let's see how we kitted everybody out we'll start with vivian who's at the top I end up giving her both these boots. Um, I'm not focusing on the propagation bounces anymore. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about that. She does do, she has a decent crit chance, 32 base plus first blood plus crit runes. So she does a lot of crits. So getting a huge boost to the power there is good. She also has, I believe, runic gift. So she gets not only an extra trinket, but for each trinket equipped, two extra mana per the level, the item level. Well, this thing's level four, and this thing's level three. So she gets a bunch of extra mana, so hopefully she can burn through that. And the skill range boost here for the second set of boots uh, will let her throw her axe farther. It doesn't, if you don't know, so like if you look here at this weapon 
the attack, it says damage, and then below it, it says range melee. Even with a boost to skill range, it'll still only be melee adjacent. But if we hit tab and look at the other attacks, or not the other item, dash, it says, it doesn't say melee, it says range 1 to 2. So now it'll be 1 to 3. So I can do the dash from further away. So basically it lets me, uh, lets me avoid a step, I guess, or, or save a step. Same with this one, the blade rush, one to two spaces. Now it'll be extra. So again, it'll help me out, I think. I can do it from further away. And obviously, like I said, with the ax throw, uh, now I can throw it further. So that's good. So I think that'll work out okay. What else? But yeah, same still weapons. I guess we're only level two, but I mean, I gotta make cuts somewhere. I probably could have bought her a, a level three weapon, but I think she'll be okay uh, between the boost to crit damage, high crit chance, everything else. Geralt, nothing too fancy. We gave him the uh, crossbow plus three. I gave him this item mostly because I, I don't think it's a major issue this particular boss fight, but if there's any big monsters with high damage resistance with with the snipe shot especially here he is set to kill big monsters but if they have a high resistance the snipe shot doesn't work but this plus 24 percent to resistance reduction suddenly makes him viable again start killing some of those things or at least hurting them a lot so i gave it to him his movement points aren't normally a big deal anyway, although he's only speed five, <laughs> which is kind of funny because normally I try to have the archers with really far range and high movement, and they can bounce back and forth across the town and help wherever they need to. So it's a little weird for me, but it's working so far. Edwidge. All right, so I actually sold my magic items and was still a bit short. Uh, but we scraped together for her the non-crit user. I gave basically I gave her my weaker weapons just because ultimately I don't think she's as good as the other ones. So she has the weaker wand. Although it gives her a bonus to reliability and accuracy. And the weakest of the orbs I have. She does have a quite a bit of boost to raw damage output, so it, it may still end up helping out a little bit here. Clara. Other thing is, she's got. She has overload. No, she doesn't. So fewer potion uses, but she's got 46 mana. In one night, we can burn through that pretty quickly. But uh, hopefully, we can make it last a night and get enough damage done. Clara here. Higher mana does have overload so can use these multiple times which is why i also gave her the fireball scroll because now she can use it five times per night so that's a lot of fireballs being slung out there fireball level four so powerful fireballs uh, she's got the top level wand and uh well mid for what i've got middle level magic orb she's also got if you look at her detail, she's got plus two on her multi-hit. I think that's why I was getting confused. Clara will always get plus two to multi-hit, no matter what. The next guy, Torg, if you look at his, he's got one multi-hit. So he'll always do at least five. Because I gave him, I found this shield in the shop. It's like, hey, I had a few bucks. I could, that was the last item I bought. I could barely afford it, and that multi-hit will be useful. So now he'll always do a minimum of five multi-shots. He gets plus two multi-hits up until the point that he kills somebody. So I have to make sure I remember that. And that's one of the problems. you got to keep track of all these special, unique abilities. So he has level three wand, level four orb, Actually, because... So that's a question, too. He does minus 10% damage now. So do you give him the more powerful orb to help make up for that? Or do you give her the more powerful orb just to do more damage right away? 
I've already got it divvied out. I guess we'll keep it like this. He doesn't have overload, so he's only got one use of this potion. But it'll be seven mana. That'll help him out a little bit. And he also has first blood and critical runes. So as he wears his mana down, his crit chance will go up. So hopefully that'll balance out. And we're good there. Let's build up the defenses. Anything to repair? A tiny bit. Is there a button to repair all? Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? Do I have something else? They look like they have something else I can do here, but no. Okay. Back to defenses then. Um, so I should probably move you out. They may smash, especially these that are burning. Those are going to go. So it's good that I have the wall behind them. They're probably going to break this stuff down here too. I could just put a bunch of ballasts back here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't know if it's the uh, ideal. But there you go. And you know what? We can do that over here, too. They're, what, 40 each? They'll act like walls, basically. Behind these barricades. So if those barricades get knocked out, they will take a couple turns to hit before they get destroyed. And I've got enough for one more. It looks like I don't have any gaps in the fence. So I might as well... I might as well put in our ballast out there somewhere. Uh, let's put it... Let's put it here. It'll cover that corner. Now, the final thing is, let's line everybody up here. Fall in! Let's do a little quick roll call and figure out Who's going to stand where? <clears throat> Again, this is where normally having a really fast ranged person with long range, you know, he could he could start here, he could shoot here one turn, the next turn he could run over here and shoot. That's not going to happen this time, I'm afraid. He's slow. There are some linear things over here. I think we'll stick him over here for now. You are fast, Edwidge. You're pretty fast. You're pretty fast. And they have range. Vivian's fast, but Vivian, like if I put her on the corner, she can't, because she has no range, she can't bounce back and forth and help on either side. So I think... I'm kind of tempted to put Vivian here. There's, uh, there, there. Actually, I kind of liked how she worked up here. She did a pretty good job of holding this up. If I put her up here, she can hold off most of it. And then if we have the three magic users here, one on each corner and one in the middle, they can kind of flex back and forth as needed. Or... I have Vivian here. These are restricted areas. I don't know if that helps Vivian do damage or not, unfortunately. I think it does. I think if we put her here, whether they come through this part or they come through here, she can take them apart pretty easily. And then the magic users on these corners, especially over here, as they trickle through, the magic user here can pick off those individuals pretty easily. So Vivian's going to go here. I have the least confidence in Edwidge, actually. Let's put her here. I think I like Clara the most of the bunch. And Torg's pretty close, actually. He's only been around for a little while, but he's doing all right, shall we say. That's it. Five people. Should be good. I got nothing else to spend. 
No other items, I don't think. I've got a healing potion, so we can give that to Vivian. She'll be the one closest to the enemy, at least, so presumably she's the one who will get hit the most. All right, let's call it good. <gasps> oh, no. The ugly bird monster's coming in. And it's it's pretty ugly bird monster. With baby ugly bird monsters. Oh my god! And it like throws feces at you. <laughs> and, and reduces your movement and damage for a couple turns. Alright. Well, the good thing is these stupid little baby birds will be easy to kill this turn. So... Looks like he's in this line. We'll step forward. We could do the heavy bolt. He's got a 48% chance to dodge. So we don't want that. We could use the snipe. The snipe will take his last movement point. So we gotta make sure no one's gonna be in range. No one's gonna be in range. Assassinate, no block. So he could still dodge. 28% chance to dodge is not great. Uh, I think we'll still go for it. It takes two action points, but if we hit him, we'll kill him outright. Or we'll fail. Then we can shoot regular. I'm still 28 with that, too. That's what I get for not taking a uh, longbow. All right, we'll shoot him with the regular crossbow. Two hits should kill him. And a lucky crit would have done it. <laughs> and let's just shoot somebody. How about... So let's see. Crossbow 180 to 216 damage. With 4% block chance, dodge chance. Or hip shot rifle. 20% dodge chance. I think we'll go with the uh, crossbow. Actually, we can do a heavy shot. 12%, but we'll kill him. I think that's a good compromise. Uh, over here, you should be able to kill this guy by just skipping through. Uh, and let's just fall back. I don't want to get too overextended trying to run these guys down. They've got a couple archers. You've got decent armor, but no block. The archer does 40 to 49. So two archers hit her, and she'll start taking some wounds. Let's uh, come over here. Oh, those guys are moving pretty far, actually. We'll come to here. That should be just outside their range. And then next turn, I'll be set up to get them. That means you will need to kill that thing. He's isolated, so we'll use the thing with the bonus damage. Isolation damage is extra 88 to 113, so that's pretty significant. Hit him again. And let's... If we pop in a little bit... That's the poison. Alright, we'll fall back. I don't want to get caught out here by accident. And these dudes... Might as well hop the fence. And we'll step up and hop again, I guess. Don't really need to burn through any of my mana yet. I can come up here and just... <laughs> can barely see anybody. I'll kill the couple I can't. Third eye triggers. So now, actually, I can see. Although... There aren't ideal targets for anything. I, mean, I could put a poison bomb here. 48 damage for four turns. Uh, 48, 96, 192. It's exactly enough to kill all of those, except for this dodger. So, okay. We'll drop that right there. 
And now we know those guys... They already did. Even if they don't know it. Fall back. Now, the trickier part is going to be, will they die before they reach the walls? As they get injured and slow down, I think they might. Might as well put your armor on. You... I mean, there aren't any great targets for you. Let's see if you can hit anything. A little too short with that. Well, you can step forward, though, right? Didn't crit him, unfortunately. Might as well use this just in case. You can put that on just in case. Play it safe with everybody. And we'll call it good. And here comes the big bird. Probably because I killed the little birds. I think that's the key, so... Yep, one shot's okay. Although the negative movement is kind of a problem. So, we got a couple options here. Impaling Bolt. I mean, it's going to hit four and potentially kill them all. Probably worth it. It only takes two mana, which is a nice perk on that shot. Close to death, but not quite there. Um, we could switch to Suppressive Fire and stop this whole group. Although, look again, 46% dodge. That's a dodger, though, so I guess it's a little unfair to judge him. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. And let's do a Power Bolt into that guy. No one else is going to get into melee range, so I'm safe there. You... Hmm... Let's come here. We're going to skip through. We can actually step forward here and maybe use our big sword blast. That'll kill a lot of people. <laughs> uh, let's do a regular sword swing here. Step up and then dash back. We could actually step up and probably just execute this guy. And then fall back. Now it's going to put him in harm's way of somebody, I'm guessing. Okay, just out of range of them. And that's good. He's cleared off this side pretty well. Now she can go over here next turn and take care of these guys. Good. All right. So why don't you kill this individual? What's the range? I kind of want to step forward and help clear those guys out, but I probably need to help over here a bit more. She's She's got plenty of action points over here. So let's come over here. My weapons are a little too short range, unfortunately. Still outside. What about these? Nope. Everything's too short. But we can do this. And I know he can take a couple more shots. 40% dodge. I think we'll pass on him. Let's hit that guy. And let's hit this guy. Was hoping to crit. Didn't happen. You're good, you're good. You can try to kill this individual. Not quite. Can you magic missile people? Uh, let's take one more step. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <laughs> Didn't kill much, but you get a number of hits. Um, I mean, that would finish them off, I guess. 
And then we might need to start floating back this way because she's probably going to need some help here. All right, we've already said these guys with poison are dead already. Two more hits and I can use third eye so I could shoot the death ray, but I can't shoot it now because there's rocks in the way. But I would like to hit all these guys in a line here. So, theoretically, can't see much from there. I mean, she's got plenty of movement. I guess I could just step up here and do a death ray. That might kill a bunch of them, it looks like. It certainly did. Uh, we could drop poison on these guys. Again, should kill them after four turns. Hopefully that's enough. This guy is isolated, so our attack here should do some extra damage to him. All right, we'll call that success. Now I just have to make sure we stay out of his reach. And again, they should get hit at the beginning of their turn and lose some mobility. Okay, anybody else? You don't have range. You're done, you're done, you're done. Okay, we'll call it good. I think the big bird will fly down now. Oh, I think she boosts them too. Makes them come in faster so they may actually catch him. That would be a problem. And of course there's more of these stupid baby birds we gotta take care of. Ah, motivates those guys. Good. They're not going to sneak up with our plus two movement and surprise me. Hey, missed. That, that dodge bonus I took uh, is helpful. I think we'll actually start here with you. How many... 198 to 255. So, two... Two of these should kill this guy. Or we could do one. Now, what's the range? Range is plus one because it hasn't moved yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I move to here, can I hit this big bird? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of already knew the answer was gonna be no. That's annoying. That's, that's why I prefer to have these archers, because they usually have slightly longer range weapons. These wizards in the corner are just not quite going to cut it. <sighs> and i got to kill these this big bird, because you win the round, you win the final round when you kill all the boss monsters. And this, I don't think this next bird will come down until I kill this one, and maybe the babies. So, All right, let's figure this out. Um... If it's got to all be you, let's start with this, I guess. One, two, three, four. All right, that thing is not very hurt at all, unfortunately. 1,700. What if I hit it with another one? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to do... Maybe 400 damage. The other option is infect, but that's not going to really do it either. So I don't think I'm going to kill it this turn. So let's think long term here. Let's hit these guys. Uh, this blocker dude. Okay. We need two more hits for third eye. That's okay, we can do that. These guys are going to die from poison. Let's hit this individual. Let's hit... I don't know, let's hit uh, this guy right here. No, this one in the front, slow him down. Now we have third eye. Now we can put the poison here. And that should take out that whole block eventually. 
and we'll fall back a bit. Out of your reach, out of your reach. You're gonna have to hurry back to help out with everything going on over here. Nothing is gonna be in range, probably. Okay. You, hmm. Can I do my regular attack? I can, even though I can't actually get to you. Let's uh, pass through here. And you can see we get, like again, the extra movement point. Sword Blast or Sword Blast 2? Let's do Sword Blast 2. Let's take that guy out. Execute him. Well, we made it pretty far. I think these guys are drawn to the uh, magic circle here, so they won't bypass over here to hit me. So we're going to have to call it good there. But these guys are all going to die, so no one's going to get to the walls yet. And over here. I don't see any other baby birds, just the big one. I have to kill him next turn. What do we got here? Ballastes will kill that guy. You. You've got eight movement. Let's come over here. You could probably do a death ray through here. And let's see, that's magic missile. Look at the damage difference. This is from the more powerful wand. This is from the weaker offhand wand. Uh, we want to make sure we kill that guy. Finish off this wounded one, I guess. Let's take this guy out too. And sure, slow this guy down. Um, we can finish this guy off. Start moving up. You, my friend, power shot might be ideal here. It ignores the block, so take out some of these guys. Hip shot. All right. I mean, we didn't clear out a huge number of them, but uh, again, we've kept them away from the wall, so that's acceptable. Who's left? You are, and you can't do anything. I don't even know what this giant bird does. I usually try to kill him right away, so... Guess we'll find out. Oh, he reduces my movement and my damage. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Thankfully, the balances help out. This nice little rectangles two by three six square chunk uh, there's a lot of good attacks will hit that i just don't happen to have any of them let's uh step down let's do another death ray come up here we'll do a magic missile Oh, come on, that blocker's in the way. I hate those guys. If you step forward. All right. I can probably kill you. I can probably kill you. You guys are all... If I get a crit, I might be able to kill these guys. Yep, like that. I got several crits and finished them off. Um, now, let's do some hip shooting. He hasn't moved, so he'll get his extra uh, bonus to accuracy, so it'll mitigate some of our problems. Uh, 
And how about you? And then what if I put another suppressive fire down? Right, nope, right in here. And it's only hitting six. I might be better off just shooting and killing someone. you step off to the side so hopefully it won't come after you and go ahead and hit hit the dodgy boy 13% chance crit will take him out step away good you're out of range I think everyone's safe down there what are we gonna do up here uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we got the axe. It's kind of good for this, sort of. And that's where that crit chance is important. Let's do a sword blast here. Hmm. So let's pull the sword out. Hit that guy. Hit that guy and float back and put our dodge up. That's good. Like I thought, he's going to be able to bounce back and forth, or she can bounce back and forth and probably hold these two off. I was a little more worried they might hit from these flanks a bit more. But if they're going to come up just these two lanes, they both meet here. I think she'll be okay. This is the problem. The, the straggler occasionally comes out. But we actually got ballasts here that might be able to take care of that. All right. We have to kill this thing this turn. Dying of poison. Those guys will die of poison. Birds just out of range, so I gotta move up. How many do we have? Seven shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> he uh, has 30 block, which obviously reduces my damage significantly. But I haven't killed anything, so I get to just do it again. And what do you have left? 76. Can I just zap him with my wand? Ew, growth. And uh, kind of fade back here and see where we need to go. Actually, this might work out okay. If, if he hangs back here, he can still move over and help this side. And really, he'll just shoot these stragglers as they get really close to the wall. So... This might be okay. These guys are poisoned. They're not going to make it. What do you have? Again, this is a nice lineup for the uh, Death Ray. Although these guys are all poisoned, so they may not survive anyway. What else do we have? This guy is isolated. Maybe we can hit him with just the bonus damage here. Uh, not doing a huge amount of damage, but actually, uh, if you... Oh, crap. I could have put a poison thing right here and hit all these guys. I kind of messed that up, although since those guys are already dead, maybe if I just put it here, it'll still be the same. And float over here. Everyone's slowing down from the poison. Good, good. You've got one more shot I haven't taken. What am I thinking? There, done. <laughs> All right, the next big ugly bird comes in, which I think that means hopefully the previous ugly bird will be coming pretty soon. Boost to movement, boost to damage, reduction in damage resistance. And yes, that straggler... Nope, the straggler did not get killed by the stuff there. Alright, what do we got? We have... I mean, I could poison these guys, but it takes forever. I don't like poison. We could fireball them. 
That seems suboptimal, but funny. All right, what do we got? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, hoping for some crits on those uninjured ones, and we got them. We can now use our uh, infect for the bonus damage, and hopefully on these isolated guys, finish some of them off. 13% dodge, not too bad. And again, since that guy has a high dodge, we'll let the magic user kill him, and this guy, who has a hard time hitting dodgy things, so we'll hit the other tougher targets. Good, good, and good. Maybe I'll start floating back this way, because it looks like this side is getting a little overrun. Heavy shot. Uh, he's feeling a little left out. He wants to shoot something big, so we'll shoot that. Didn't quite finish that guy off. Regular shot. All right. This one's going to be a little trickier, uh, especially because some of these guys have increased mobility, which is a little dangerous. Let's finish him off. Ooh, a Lancer. These guys are tough. Look at that, a lot of armor. Um, let's... So I could come over here, skip through... Step up here, hit him with the axe. Now the question is again, I, I can come over here, kill this one guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, but will I be safe if I do that? Mm, looks like I might. Sword. No one there is in range. These guys aren't in range. These guys are boosted, but they're going around that way. So, should be good there. What do we got up here? Well, I have to kill that thing. 3rd eye. I've got 3rd eye up now, so we should probably take advantage of it. None of these guys are going to reach the wall. I've got one, two, three, four dudes not infected with poison, so let's hit them. We will finish off this guy. Not gonna get to the wall. Gonna wait. This guy should be able to finish off most of the stuff over here, so we'll let him Take the first crack at things. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. And a wand. Oh, I should hit that guy. You slipped through. Uh, this person actually isn't poisoned, so actually we'll hit him. Yeah, simple enough. You're gonna... Nope, you're not gonna reach me anymore. Nobody's gonna reach me. Should be good. Everyone's gone. Uh, I think I will have them start drinking their potions unless they have critical runes. Critical runes, critical runes. You don't have a potion, but you have critical runes. There. You can drink your potion. But you haven't even shot that much. You're down 10. There you go. You don't have critical runes, and you have used quite a bit of mana. 
So you can drink your two potions that you only get to use once, and that's all you got. <laughs> all right, we'll call it good. Here comes Big Bird number two. It's actually, I mean, the first and maybe second time I did this fight, it was a little challenging. Uh, because my people have leveled up, you know, the, the game in general, even with the increased 30% larger waves, this final fight's going a little easier than it normally does. Uh, I want to step here and shoot a death ray down this line, but <laughs> I think this side's under control. And I need to help over here more, so fine. We'll move over here. Not a lot I can do there, so we'll just pick off some of these guys. You do have the wand, so I can recharge this person. Uh, let's see. Ballistas will kill some of these guys, although it might be worth just executing this guy. Step up here, swing the axe. Okay, I still got a lot of armor. Um, do I want to try to kill him? I don't think I do, actually. Let's step over here. Let's hit this guy. Can you transfer to him? Not quite. If you step here, you do your dash attack, you'll cut through them. You have no mana, no mana left. No, no action points left. And you'll have five movement. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably not gonna be in range of, no. I could step over to here and lose three. Okay, we can do this instead. I can hit you. I can step down. Hit these guys with the axe. Mm, didn't kill the last one. So I might actually get hit here a little bit. I think, like I said, I think they'll move forward, so I'll be okay there. I will take a little bit of damage from the clawer. As for these bubbas, this looks like a perfect target to just slow them down. And then we can focus on sniping these guys that are not slowed. <laughs> oh no, one. So close. Uh, let's just shoot that dude. He's not going to get very far. They're not getting very far. All right, what do we got next? Oh, uh, bows. Those are bad. Unpoisoned people. Those are bad. No blocker, though. I don't think I can hop over the enemy. That's a perk you can take, but I don't have it at the moment. Cause I kind of want to put a poison thing right here and just hit all those guys, but it does not look like an option. They're all going to die, right? They're already dead. Uh, these guys are a little too spaced out. How about I do you, since you've got fewer targets to worry about? Let's snipe these individuals that are scattered about. Trying not to use too much of my mana since we're running a little low on it. Uh, sure, finish that guy. You're not going to get too far. Okay. That doesn't solve my question with you, though. Oh, you do have third eye. So actually, if I can... This, is, this seems silly, but... If I step there, 
I'm gonna get hit by these people. All right, hold on, let's undo all this. I can step here. I can jump across. It takes less movement. Now I am where I want to be. I can drop the poison shot there. I can not magic missile the guys who are that close to me. I can hop back. I can... These guys are all going to hit me, unfortunately. They're weak. I have to kill these. These chumps, though, I don't think will do too much damage to me. Although, I don't have a lot of health or armor. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, that's something. Um... you can I action point you? I can. All right. So let's do this. This is a little convoluted. I don't want her getting hit at all because that slows you down. Even if you don't get hit, like take much damage, every hit like slows you for the next turn. So that's not what I want. So if we do this, one, two, three, four, five. There. That one slipped through again. Yeah, I camouflaged, but otherwise than that, we're okay, I think. And you've got nothing else to do. So we'll call it good there. Big gooberfish. Huge gooberfish. Oh, that's good. That's actually plopped right down next to my wizard who can snipe him. Negative damage and movement to her is bad. Or him. And then this archer is going to shoot my wizard. It sucks. So a lot less movement. All right, well, let's start with the easy one. You can hit these guys. Okay, we're going to change up. Magic Missile. Uh, I can't step anymore, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we get some lucky crits. Mm, got a couple. If I step forward and do it again, magic doesn't do as well against armor, unfortunately, so this is not the ideal target for you. Instead, let's have you melee weapons. Eh, I meant to do the sword attack. Melee weapons are the ideal weapon against armored targets. Just like that. Transfer some points to you. And he should be, or she should be able to slice up some of these people with no problem. was a bit of a mistake. I got a little carried away there. Let's um, can I kill him with my axe? I don't really want to step into that spot. The axe will not kill him. Alright, well, I guess we hit him with a the sword. Then. We step into the spot, and we step back, and we accept that we're going to get punched a little bit, which kind of blows, but we got a healing potion, and we'll be surrounded by them. We'll have them right where we want them. That's all good there. Uh, let's see. Let's give you a shot here. Let's blow some people up. What's a good target? I don't think I can hit 
a full five anywhere, but I can get close. Take those guys out. Shoot that guy. <laughs> Shoot. Just under 200. How about I hip shot that guy? Oh, 83% dodge. Probably not ideal. Still 30% to dodge. Let's let him get closer. <laughs> Let's just do some heavy shots and pick some people off. There we go. Uh, you. All right. I've got a lot of killing requirements over here. We gotta kill that guy. Didn't quite do it. Um, maybe magic missile. No, let's hit him again. That'll unlock poison. I can fling a poison goo ball up here somewhere. Sure. And we regained an action point. Let's, uh... Let's actually hold on. This guy does better damage, I think, overall. So we can use the wand's transfer and give this guy more action points. And he'll do better with them, I think. Uh, let's come up here. Let's go one, two. Hopefully we'll crit them on the initial hit and get them wounded. Oh, why can't I hit you? You're out of range? Fine. Try again. Hopefully we'll hit them with the first hit, take out some armor, and we'll focus the rest on that. Well, I mean, we did get a crit, and it did almost kill him, but I was expecting more for some reason. Ugh, these guys are so tough. 2,000 health. We're doing more crits, though, because we're running out of mana, so we're... <laughs> Uh, go ahead and transfer to him. Transfer again. Out of that. Hmm. I'd kind of like to... If he's isolated, I could... Hit him with the other attack. This will not kill that guy unless I get a lucky critical. Uh, hit him again. Then we'll hit this guy. It's a bit inefficient the way I did it, but... Let's fall back to the city. Oh, that's right. He got uh, weakened, so he's doing less damage than he normally would. That's not going to help. Anybody else? That's everybody. Oh no. The horde is coming. <laughs> hey, hit the bird. All right, let's start with Vivian actually. That's the, I think, the easiest one. We're going to just dash through. Going to cut across. Ooh, actually undo. Let's step back here. We can execute this fellow. Use the axe to hit these two. Uh, let's see. We can dash. Why can't we dash? I don't have an action point. Can I transfer one to you? I could if I could see you. But stupid Mr. Blocker Man. Oh, hey. We gotta stop that guy. Alright. One thing at a time. I get distracted. Transfer a point to you. You can step across. Dash across. Step over. Sword Blast. And we'll call that a good day. You, with four action points, 
I don't think I'm gonna burn through any mana. One shot, two shot, maybe three shot. And if I have to, I can double up there. I don't think those guys can reach. So, wand. We'll wand this guy. Isolate target that guy. Perfect. That means you can step up, hit this guy. 115 to 135, or, yeah, it's a lot more. Other, the orb relies on the bonus damage for isolated targets, which didn't get there. All right, uh, we need to hit some people hard here. Heavy bolt. Heavy bolt. Oh yeah, I haven't been using my uh, impaling bolt. That would be ideal in some of these circumstances. Hip shot. 148 to 182. Oh, okay. The regular crossbow does a little bit more damage, too. Uh, that thing is going to catch me. Probably because of that um, boost. Let's see. Three movements. They're gonna probably run straight forward, so I might be safe over here. But I may need some help pretty soon. Up here, can we kill the second big bird? Uh, probably, but we'll see. Let's try to take out these individuals first. I was hoping for a crit. I was not hoping for him to survive with one health again. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, we're going to have to do another magic missile, I think. Let's just step out here and have at it. One. Wait, how much do you have? We're just going to pour it all into this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And... <laughs> We've got some stuff to kill, so let's just clear it out. Getting a little overwhelmed here. Um, why don't you transfer action point or two? And what are we going to do? We're going to drink our potion. And let's just zap a couple guys. Hoping for some crits. We got him. We're going to duck back. You. Zap some dudes. We'll hop the fence. This guy is isolated. Let's go ahead and hit him. That guy is isolated. Let's hit him. <laughs> uh, well, the ballast is well. I'll be able to finish him off. We got a lot of them here, so. Good enough. Just have to kill one more big bird. As the horde slowly comes in. And yes, the ballast has helped out. Didn't kill anyone there, but it's still okay. They shot that defense. Not a loss. All right. Let's step over here and zap them. That's a long death ray. <laughs> and then I want to get over there, but I have a feeling if I come this far away, the death ray won't. No. Now the death ray is not essential. There may be other options I have. I could come over this way too. It would take me an extra turn to get over there, but this is a fun attack. I mean, you have to admit. Hey, I don't know how that guy survived. But I think next turn, once her movement is 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, she'll be in range to help out. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily help me this turn, though. So we can... I didn't want to have to move. Let's shoot you. Heavy bolt you. Can I impaling bolt these three? They're <laughs> just not close enough. Um, probably just hit him with regular attacks. I could suppress this group and just slow them all down again. Then we'll fall back a bit. They're going to actually reach the wall this turn, which is a little annoying, but they will be punished. Uh, we will hold off on using any more mana, I think, at least for my guys who are low, just to... Uh, we need to make sure that when the last bird comes out, we can actually hit it. All these, uh, I mean, if nothing else, we'll go through here and uh, hit the uninjured ones and hope for crits. And then next round, if I do use a magic missile, I'll just smoke them. So, okay, that'll do. Uh, we'll hop the fence. Uh, these guys are pretty much all dead. It takes three. So if I come up to here, I'll have six left. That's not going to work. I can come over to here. One, two, three. One, two, three to hop the fence. I have one left. So that's as far as I can go. This guy's isolated. Let's try to get him. This guy is hurt. Might as well finish him off. They're blocking, so I can't see those guys. Might as well kill you. And I guess... Oh, I might as well hit that guy. He's uninjured. Hop the fence. Actually, next turn, I can walk over and use the potion to restore his mana. Again, he's a better mage. He's more useful, so let's just boost him. You have not gone. And actually, this is a tough one in a way. Actually, you can maybe do this. Axe. Sword. I can't... The sword <laughs> dashes through, but it I can't get through, unfortunately. I guess we'll come up and do an axe. And then a sword. Yep. Looks like some of them will be in range, but... Because this guy in the front, he's hurt, so it'll be less damage, so we'll call it good. And I think that's the last bird. And the last bird picked a poor place to show up. I don't know if I have to kill the little birds or if I can just kill these big ones. I am going to focus on the big bird this turn and just try to kill it. And we'll see if that's enough. Or if I uh, regret my decision. <laughs> so, come over here. We'll go with the Mega Magic Missile. All six. And a bunch of crits, like I was hoping, because she's running low in mana. I'll fucking do it again. And it looks like that's enough. Just ignore everything. You know, when you cut the head off the snake, everything, you know, the, the body dies. You kill the giant freaky zombie bird, and all the zombies go away. Or harpies, fine. It says they're harp. Did it look like a harpy? It looked like a big zombie bird. Come on. 
And now we get to see the mostly cringe dialogue. <laughs> I have to admit, it is kind of funny seeing the text and the fonts change, trying to... It's almost like a comic book, how they change the font sometimes to, uh... Change how everything looks. Convey different meanings and emotions with the words. Now, I can't skip this part, unfortunately. Skip it! Skip it! I don't care! I just want to kill! <laughs> so... That's... That's that. The finishing of the first town on the, what, second or third apocalypse level. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. And again, I would, uh... I don't know. It's not what I expected, but I'm enjoying it. I would recommend giving it a shot. If, after watching it, you can say, hey, it looks like something I at least would be moderately interested in. Look at that. Not yet. There's other havens that need to break their seals. The fight isn't over. The heroes are still needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you next time. <laughs>